Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this noob with the Dark Blade reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Cold Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Where the Ecker slam! Oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dump! Before I start grinding this sword, how do you get the Dark Blade? First, someone can give it to you as a gift. <laughs> Or you can buy it for 1,200 Robux. I know it's kinda expensive, though I hope that this video may help you decide on whether you should buy it or not. Alright, so let's start grinding. First off, our 1,000 slices. This skill did not disappoint. Check that out, the damage is so high. Just two Z skills and some left clicks, and you can easily finish the bandit quest. Again, we're gonna stay here until we reach level 10. For the stats, 28 sword. Next up, the fountain city. Guys, why can gamer non swim? Guys, you can swim in this game if you did not eat a blast fruit. Okay, so for the grinding part, just lure a galley pirate, but when using your M1, avoid kicking fast because you will launch forward and your enemy will use its range attacks. Guys, that attack can one hit you early in the game. Again, you can avoid that by clicking slower and using your Z skill. Just a reminder, be patient. The first one will be slow, but once you defeat one galley pirate, you will level up 14 times. So you can increase your sword stat and you can defeat it easier. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 60. You will unlock your second skill, the Dark Air Slash. For the stats, melee 30, defense 30, sword 120. Next area is the desert. For our first target, we got the Desert Bandits. Now we can use two skills to damage the enemy. Remember that we already unlocked the Dark Air Slash. Guys, don't worry, I'm gonna show it to you again. Here it is in slow motion. Okay, so our first target here is not leveled, but grind more than 25,000 bellies and go to the Frozen Village and buy the Enhancement. Why? Because this increases your damage. As you can see, 134. But with the Haki, 143. I think the damage will increase when you level up your Haki too, okay? So at 75, next target is the Desert Officers. Same strategy, Z and X skill. Also use some of your left clicks. Your target level here is level 90. Next area is Frozen Village. So here, we're gonna defeat Snow Bandits. They're so easy to defeat. Don't worry guys, Z X skill, same strategy. You're gonna leave this mob when you reach level 105. Next stop, the Yeti. My strategy here, use your Z and X skill, some of your left clicks, but if you want to be safe, when your skills are in cooldown, just jump in the tree, and when it's in cooldown, use your Z and X skill again. And that way, you will be safe and you will have no problems in defeating the boss. Okay, goal here is level 130, and after that, Marine Fortress. We're gonna start defeating the Vice Admiral. For my technique, I did use the Z and X skill and dodge to the side to dodge his own range attack. Wait for my skills to cool down and that's it. When you level up more and increase your stats, you can even defeat it using left clicks. You're gonna do this until you reach level 220. Next up, the prison. There are three bosses here, the Warden, the Chief Warden, and the Swan. Best tip is to defeat them using wall strat. As you can see, they cannot reach us here, just lure them in the wall. There you go, same with the Warden, lure, left clicks is enough. Guys, you can use left clicks with the Warden and the Chief Warden. But with the Swan, you need to increase your HP so that you can tank his skills. Target level here is level 350, and after that, let's check our stats first. Melee 210, defense 350, sword 490. Next area is the Magma Village. So our target here is Magma Admiral. No wall strat here, so you need to use your skills. Again, you need to dodge some of his skills, wait for your skills to cool down, and that's it. You're gonna defeat him until you reach level 425. Next area is the Underwater City, and the boss here, the Fishman Lord, is very easy to defeat. Just lure him. Again, look for your window of choice and use your left clicks, okay? So again guys, you don't need to do anything. If you don't want to get damage, just create distance, use your Z and X, okay? You're gonna leave this area when you reach level 500. I check for our sword, 712 melee, 210, defense 578. Next stop, the Skylands. Target is the Whisper. So guys, Whisper is very easy to defeat. Just make sure to stay in this rock if you don't want to get damage then use your X skill and Z skill, okay? 
That's it. We're gonna leave this area at 575. Next stop, Thunder God. There is no rock or wall strat here. You should use your skills. Remember how you defeated Magma Admiral? That's the way to do it. We're gonna leave this area at 675. Next up, the Fountain City. Here, we're gonna do server hop. We're gonna focus on Cyborg until we reach level 700. And after that, we're gonna unlock Yoru V2. Guys, just head to the middle town. Look for this house with the green roof. You will find two NPCs there. Talk to Robot Mega. By the way, the minimum requirement here is to get level 350 so you can do it earlier. For the quest, he will ask you to look for three letters. First, you need to go to the frozen village, talk to the doghouse, there you go. And the first letter is located here, use your Z skill, there you go, the first letter. Next up, you can find the second letter in the Skylands, so it's located here near the spawn point. NPC, there you go. Last one is in the marine fortress, so at the back of the fortress. You will use your Z skill here. Let's just keep hitting doors and you will find the third letter. After that, go back to the middle town, talk to Robot Mega, and something weird will happen to your Dark Blade. And that's it, guys. For V2 Dark Blade, you can now hold both your Z and X skill. For the X skill, this one. For the Z skill, if you hold it, you will launch forward. Okay, so you will level up here until you reach level 775. And after that, welcome to the second C. So we're gonna start it off with this one pirate. So how do you defeat them? Lure 4, use your X skill fast, guys, fast, because they will hit you with their long range attacks. After that, Z skill and left clicks. Don't forget to use your observation hockey and that's it. They're easy to defeat. I suggest that you grind here until you reach level 850. Okay, so stat check first, melee 390, defense 745, sword 1415. Next up is Jeremy. I suggest that you grind here until you reach level 900, but if it's kinda hard for you, go back to the Swan Pirates. Okay, so at 900, next up the green zone. We're gonna defeat the Marine Captains here, guys. I'm gonna show you how simple it is. Use your Z, X skill, use your Observation Hockey. Guys, check that HP. So low now, left clicks to finish them, okay? 25 levels is needed here. So at 925, you can start defeating Pahita or Fujitora, guys. We're gonna skip lots of mobs here, the zombies, the vampires, etc. Because again, this boss gives out lots of experience compared to them, and it's near the quest giver, okay? So at level 1000, stat check, sword 1750, melee 450, defense 800. Next stop, the snow mountains. We're gonna start defeating the snow troopers here. Again, this is a lot easier compared to the marine captain. So some Z, X skill, and some left clicks will do the trick. So our goal here is to reach level 1100 and after that, next area is the hot and cold. We're gonna start defeating the lab subordinates, same strategy guys, but I suggest always turn on your observation hockey. Check that out, I almost got poofed. Guys, if you follow that reminder, it will be easy, okay? Now we are heading towards my favorite part at level 1150, you can start defeating Smoke Admiral. So I tried doing wall strut, but Smoker can go through walls, so it's not good. Just fight him face to face, it's easy to defeat. HP is low and your damage is high, okay? Target level is level 1250, stat check. Sword max, defense 880, melee 570. Next area is the cursed ship. So we're gonna defeat two mobs here. First, ship decans, you can do the wall strut here. So no more uh, tips, just do the wall strat until you reach level 1300. You go. So once you reach level 1300, next up is the ship steward. So this is harder compared to the previous one because there is no wall strat. But again, Z and X skill will do the trick plus some left clicks and that's it. You're gonna grind here until 1350. Next up, second to the last area is the ice castle. First target here is the arctic warriors. Again, lure 4. Use your Z and X skill and that's it. Don't forget your observation hockey. Goal here is 1,400. After that, you can now defeat the boss in this island, Awakened Ice Admiral. So my technique here is the wall strat. So always look for walls so that you cannot get damaged by this boss. Guys, I'm going to give you a choice. You can grind here until max level, yes. Just do server hop and reach 1,500. So shout out to this dude, he helped me defeat the boss when I was uh, grinding. Or when you reach level 1,475, you can head to the Forgotten Island and start defeating the Tide Keeper. The technique here is just to stay again on this rock and there's a chance that he won't summon his CBs. So things will be easier. Your goal here again is to reach level 1,500 if you don't prefer the Ice Admiral. Additional information, this is the boss where you can get the key to unlock 
the Sharkman Karate. Okay? So guys, don't forget to defeat Swan, finish the Coliseum quest, and now guys, you are ready to head to the Green Zone and enter the Third Sea. Congratulations guys, we are one sea away from reaching max level. So first off, the Pistol Millionaires, guys, Lure them without hitting them because this will happen. These mobs will then stop chasing you and that's a perfect lure. You need 4 skills to defeat them and that's it. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 1550. Yes, we're gonna skip the pistol billionaires for the stats. Max sword defense 1450, 900 melee. Next is the stone. So this is the boss in this island. Nothing special with this boss, just make sure to turn on your observation hockey and that's it. You can dodge all his skills. I suggest that you do server hop until you reach level 1675. Let's check the stats again. Max sword, defense 1712, melee 1013. Next up is the Hydra Island. So guys, we're gonna go straight with the Island Empress. We're doing boss server hops, guys. Technique to her is just lure her here. Wall strat, yes, you can use your skills as well as your M1 clicks. There you go, as you can see, it is working. So we're gonna defeat her. Again, do server hop until you reach level 1750. For the stats, max sword, defense 1903, melee 1050. Next island, the Great Tree. And for this island, we're gonna go straight with the Kalo Admiral. So the technique here is just go up, yes, jump here on this stone, and you can hit her using your X skill. Guys, if you want, you can defeat her using this strategy but i don't suggest it it will take time to defeat her so i suggest defeat her face to face you're gonna grind here until you reach level 1800 next island is oh wait a sea beast so wrong move we're gonna defeat this really fast and move on to our next island and that island is the floating turtle so we're gonna defeat mobs here first is the fishman captain they're so easy to defeat we're gonna level up 25 times here Next up, the Forest Pirates. Here, we're gonna level up 75 times, which means at level 1,900, next up, the Jungle Pirates. We're gonna reach level 1,925 here. After that, Musketeer Pirates. Guys, same strategy. Lure 4, defeat them. Do this twice to finish a quest. We are leaving this area at 1,975. Next island is the Hunted Castle. So our target here is only the Reborn Skeletons, Additional information, you can use the bones to get fire essence, boosts, and hollow essence. The goal here is to reach level 2075. For the stats, max sword in defense, melee is 1625. Now guys, for our final island, the Sea of Treats. Last two mobs in the first one is the Peanut Scouts. Guys, this is my favorite mob in the final island because they're easy to defeat and they're near the quest giver. So if you're gonna ask me, reach max level here. But if you want, uh, you can go in the other island where uh, Cake Mom is located, yes. You can beat the ice cream chefs here. Same strategy, there you go. So guys, there you go. Last two mobs to reach max level. But again, as a bonus, we're gonna defeat Cake Mom at 2,299. There you go. So it should be the ball one-on-one -on -one just by using your dark, dark Blade, yes. So technique here is use your Z skill, right? Dodge because she's gonna use her own skill. Use your Z skill, use some left clicks and dodge. There you go guys. As you can see, there is a pattern when defeating bosses. So make sure to just figure that out and you will have a high chance of defeating her, okay? Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, if you have a request, just comment it on the comment section. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out! Oh guys, we got the body sword. <laughs> Anyways, guys, bye-bye.